one of the many great things about Cincinnati is you can see excellent local live jazz music every Thursday night, especially places like here at the Redmore. And I am so thrilled to have next to me one of these new jazz legends. His name is Wade Baker. Wade, how are you doing tonight, man? I'm doing fantastic. How about yourself? I'm doing great, man. We're, we're glad to have you here. You know, I was researching you, and I uh, came across some very interesting facts. Like, uh, you're a young man. At around age 12, you picked up, uh, you want to pick up an instrument. You picked up the trumpet. When I was 12, I wanted to play guitar. I wanted to play the drums. What The trumpet, why? Um, my mom actually... Um, pushed me towards playing the trumpet. She'd played trumpet in high school and uh, I honestly did want to play the drums but we had to take a test at our school and I scored too high on it on a hearing test and they wouldn't let me play the drums. They were like, no, you have to play melody instrument. And so uh, the trumpet was the loudest and I thought that was really cool. So I stuck with it. Well, we're glad you did, man. You know, I noticed that uh, in, in when you're in the studio, now you're even producing your own music. Why? Why, why made you want to pursue that? Well. I'm the only one that really knows how I want the music to sound. So um, to get the sounds that I want, I'm, I'm really the only one that can do it. I can. I, I had a lot of help actually producing that record. Gary Mielke, um, he helped me a lot, but he was very receptive as far as my suggestions went. Um, I guess maybe because I was paying him, but um, yeah, <laughs> that helps. It does. It does help. But yeah. It, it, I love production quality. I've produced a lot of different types of music, actually. I've produced hip-hop, I've produced R&B music and jazz, so... Right. And you've even performed at bar mitzvahs. I read that, right? I have done that as well. Wow. I, I think that's a first for our show, man. I, I think this is an absolute first. Uh, you're living right now in Dayton. You've, uh, your background's Indianapolis. Uh, but here in Cincinnati, you're absolutely synonymous with the Cincinnati jazz scene. So is Cincinnati, we treat you pretty well here? I love Cincinnati. Um, I love it so much. I wanted to move to New York, but I just can't seem to get away from this area. I, I have so much love here, and people show a lot of support. It's because of people like you um, that I get to keep doing what I love, and so it's kind of hard to turn my back on that, you know? Well, New York's loss is our gain, man. Well, you got your master's degree from CCM, right? Correct. Okay. All right, now, what do you plan to do with that? Do you plan to one day teach, or you just want to keep playing music, learn all you can, or all the above? Well, uh, preferably I would like to be able to teach someday. It's time to have a family and stuff like that, um, to be a little more grounded and centered. But uh, currently in my life, I'm just trying to have a gig every day and learn as much as I can now so that one day I can teach some people stuff. Got to learn it now, though. <laughs> You're absolutely right, man. Well, before we go, I, I just want to give kind of like a, a little shout out. The Redmore is a beautiful facility. And I know I've never been up on the stage performing here. You have. So I, every time I talk to a performer, they say, this, this place is phenomenal. Do you have the same feeling, the same appreciation for this venue? I love the Redmore. Um, there are very few rooms in this area, actually in the Midwest, that uh, can compare to it. The sound is phenomenal here. Doc, the promotions guy, he's, he's wonderful. Dwayne, the sound guy, wonderful, will do anything you ask him to. And that's not always an easy thing to find <laughs> with sound guys. Sure. And um, I always do well. I always have people come out here. They want to come. The food's great and the atmosphere is really nice. It's not like going to some smoky bar or it's not like going to some hole in the wall. It's a place where people can go and have an experience. Right. And that's what I like most about the Red. One last thing. Uh, where, do you have a website? Any place where we can go? We want to see Wade Baker coming up next. Next weekend we're free. Where can we find you? Definitely. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on MySpace. Uh, Wade Baker, or myspace.com slash Wade Baker Jazz. Also, myspace.com slash Wade Baker Music. That's the other jazz, not jazz, but the other stuff. Sure. And there's also wadebaker.com. That's my official website. Well, fantastic, man. It's an absolute pleasure. I'm looking forward to your set. Uh, when I was researching you, I was, got all the YouTube videos. I'm looking forward to it, man. I know I say that every time. I mean it this time. I'm really looking forward to it, dude. So thanks a lot, man. Thank you.